Hi, this is Chef Dave Bitch from Chef To You. Welcome to my kitchen. Anybody out there that like cheeseburgers? That's what I thought. Almost all of us do. Today we're going to be making a cheeseburger meatloaf. That's like taking a cheeseburger and putting it in a big old loaf and sharing it with the whole family. Let's take a look at our ingredients and get started. Let me give you one rule about making meatloaf before we get started. You want to put all your ingredients in the bowl and mix it at one time. You don't want to keep mixing, adding and mixing, adding and mixing. It's going to make your meatloaf tough. So let's take a look at our ingredients. We're going to put them in at the same time. We got one cup of oatmeal, two eggs lightly beaten. Now we get into the cheeseburger part. We got one half cup of diced dill pickles, one cup of sharp cheddar cheese, one half cup of finely diced onions. We got some mustard here, about one teaspoon. We got salt, we got one half teaspoon a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic. Somebody's saying, well, where's the ketchup? Ketchup's going to go on at the end. Don't worry, we haven't forgot it. Let's take our hands here. We've got a pan here ready to go, and that way we can mix this up with our hands, go right to the pan. We don't have to wash our hands in between process. Let's just take your hands, mix this up really well, and get everything incorporated. All right, we got the uh, meatloaf mixed up really well. Let's go ahead and transfer to this pan. Now this dish here, my wife's been making for years. While the girls were young, we used to have this on a regular basis, and she used to shape it into a heart, just for fun for the kids. Matter of fact, just this past weekend, my daughter's birthday, she requested a cheeseburger meatloaf. And my wife made four of these, and, uh, made them in a the heart shape, just like the, she did when the girls were young. Let's go ahead and just shape this, whatever shape you want, heart shape, uh, whatever uh, suits your fancy, okay? Let's get it nice and shaped up so you want nice even cuts all the way down. That looks good, nice and tight. Let's go ahead and put this in the oven for 25 minutes at 350 degrees. And we'll check if it's not quite done, we'll add a few more minutes. Our meatloaf is finished. It cooked about 25, 28 minutes. Looks good, nice color around it. It's good and done. Now we'll put our toppings on. We'll take some ketchup and put that across the top. Take our spoon, just rub it in. Just keep it on the very top of it. I know some people love ketchup on a cheeseburger. I'm not a big uh, ketchup fan on a regular cheeseburger, but it's delicious on this dish here. Now we'll take some more of that sharp cheddar cheese we had, put it right on top of that ketchup we have. We're gonna put this in the oven for about five minutes, just let that cheese melt and brown just a little bit on the tips, and we'll take it off, let it stand for 15 minutes, and we'll go ahead and slice and enjoy. We have our finished product here. I let it stand for 15 minutes, then I cut it. We can get about eight or nine servings out of this. Garnish it up nice and pretty. Family's going to love this. This is Chef Dave Bishop, cooking and teaching. Till next time, may God bless.